Hello everyone. Thanks for stopping by Crafts Hawaii again. Today I'm gonna uh, shoot a video, kind of practice. Um, as I mentioned, I'm gonna go for the first time up to San Diego with a good friend of mine that we used to go to Vegas a lot, and he started going to San Diego, so. He invited me to go to San Diego with him and so I decided I would go just to see how it is because I understand that San Diego's has an Indian reservation well they have a few I guess but at the Indian reservations um, the dice doesn't determine your point the dice will determine the cards that will flip to determine your point so it's going to be something new for me and uh, I'd like to go and I'm pretty anxious to get an experience for the first time playing that way but tonight or today this video I'd like to see if there's any other options um, that can be done instead of just playing 240 inside and off on the come out get a point and then working so when I've talked to my friend about how he plays, because I haven't played with him for a long time, he starts off with 240 inside. So I just wanted to see if there were any options that would be better um, to play instead of not working on the come out and um, just waiting for a point. Now my friend, uh, He's a press kind of guy. Loves to press the bets up. And when he wins, he wins big money. So we used to go to Vegas a lot before. And the reason I'm telling you that he likes to press is, like I think I mentioned in my videos before, I used to play only with 54 across or 52 across. Press it up to about 100, 150 at the most. And then just keep taking the same amount same amount just become a grind at that point until I started going with my friend and by going with my friend my bidding became bigger and bigger and my losses got bigger and bigger of course the wins got bigger also when there were wins but the one thing that um, I got out of all that is by betting with my friend, um, my he just made my balls get bigger. I don't know how else to say it, but my 54 across naturally didn't stay that way when we started playing. And you saw the video on how I used to play back in the day. And one story that sticks with me all the time, and I still talk to him about it, and we laugh is that we were in Paris one night and we were st we started off with about 135 across and hard waves and pass line and whatever else but this guy picked up the dice and he was rolling a lot of sixes six six a lot of sixes so from thirty dollars that we had on the six because we started 135 across our six became twelve hundred dollars and my friend looked at me and said, Mel, if this six hits again, we're gonna press this six up to $2,400. I didn't know what to say. I was thinking to myself, 2,400 from $1,200. At that time, I didn't even know what $1,200 paid. But as I thought about it, you know, a few days later and figured out what does $1,200 pay? And $1,200 pays $1,400. So when he said we're going to press it up to $2,400, I was thinking, wow, we would only put $200 in our chip rack and $1,200 more to press up to $2,400. I was thinking, boy, now that's how to grow some balls. But anyway that was just a story that I always um, think back to 
So anyway, because he's going to go out there, and we're going to go out there together, and he told me he starts off with 240 inside. I just wanted to see that if I could come up with different options or strategies that may work and um, maybe still can make money, but not take as much of a loss. So the first thing that I want to try, and I got a thousand dollars here, and because you played 240 across, you should have at least two thousand dollars to twenty four hundred dollars of a bankroll so anyway the first thing I want to do is you know I always want to go and resort to my easy 75 so we're gonna take the nine we're gonna put it in the field I could back it up with this iron cross but because there's a lot of money out here I'm gonna take a chance and take the five down and instead of starting with 240 I'll start with two uh, 180 okay because we're taking back sixty dollars so we'll start with 180 and hopefully end up with the same result of 240 inside but starting with 180 and saving us sixty dollars now the other option I could have at this point is I could bet hopping sevens three ways three-way hopping seven for ten dollars a piece so I could do that also if I had the iron cross protection but the difference is I got 240 here if I hop the seven three ways there will be ten dollars each if I would hit one of them I would only make a hundred and fifty dollars so if I got 240 and I only gonna recover a hundred and 50 I would still gonna be down 90 but of course that's better than being down 240 but if I take the six uh, five out take the sixty dollars back and if I would play three-way hopping seven and if the seven did come I'd win 150 and now because I only got 180 out I would only lose thirty dollars so that's an, an option because that's a that's a big difference right but because I, I'm going to try and say, I'm not going to put the five. I'll take a, the chance that the five will not come and I'll win the field. Now, if the seven would come, I'd lose the 240 that would be placed across here anyway. So I could try and put the $30 and back it. And you know if I lose I'll lose thirty dollars but I'll still win sixty dollars there or seventy here and seventy here so I still would come out with basically a forty dollar profit if I would hit the seventy dollars and lose thirty or I would get thirty dollar profit if I hit the sixty okay so I'm just gonna take a chance no cover in the seven hoping that I don't roll a five okay let's go ten hard okay so I escaped that no five no seven so we get paid this is our money that comes back we get paid sixty dollars in the field so we picked up a free $60 by doing this, right? We picked up a free $60 by doing that. So now whereas my friend would have started off with 240 inside and off on a come out, he would be working now, right? But he still would have 240 here. We already won $60 because we won it in the field and we're only playing 180. Okay, so we're looking for the 10. 10 right back. Okay, we didn't make any money because we're not on the 4 and 10. So, what I want to do is, because we want $60, I want to put us back, take the 9, put it back in the field. Now, I really want the $60, so this is pure profit. So, if I leave it, here and the five does come I still will win sixty dollars because this was profit from the first row but I'll take a chance again we'll take this on the side 
We're looking for a new number. No sevens, no fives. Ten again. Okay, so we get another sixty dollars that we win. So it's just like we took back a hundred and twenty already. Okay, so now we're looking for the ten. Five. So five pay eighty five or eighty four and eighty five for one. Okay, so we can take this as profit and I think I will because we got that money, we got this money that we won. So I'm just gonna put these on the side so I can keep my profit for that that time for this win for this roll anyway okay so we're looking for more points nine so nine pays 85 for one so at this point we could take this and we'd be breaking even this about or maybe winning a little bit but knowing my friend it's going to start pressing, but instead of pressing, I'm going to take the four, and I'm going to take the point ten. I'm going to take quarter, and I'll take $35 profit off of that. Six. Okay, so six pays $70. With the $70, we're going to press up one unit because I know that's what my friend is going to do. So he's going to be at 90. Nine. Okay, so nine pays. Eighty-five dollars. For one. Okay, so now I can press, but instead of pressing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the five and the nine down to thirty. 5 to 35 actually so I can still make $50 and I'm gonna take 125 $135 profit okay cuz like we all know we don't know when the seven coming but if I have a chance to, to depress my bets I will and when I have a chance to press it up I will looking for points 5 Okay, so now we depress the five, but we're still making fifty dollars for one dollar. And now we can still press up the five to sixty. And we took the profit earlier, so we can go right back up. Okay, we can go right back up, and that's good because we took it, and now with the win, we're pressing it back up. Eight. Okay, so ninety dollar eight. Pays one oh five. Ninety dollar eight pays one oh five. Okay, I'm thinking about it. I should knock that six and eight down. Oh, well, we didn't, and we're getting paid again for the eight. Another one oh five. Nine. Okay, so nine. Page eighty five. But what we're going to do is we're going to give the de uh, the dealer 
six dollars. And when you give the six dollars with the eighty-five dollars that we won, we can press this up to hundred and fifty. And that's what I'm gonna do. Um, just because I know that's what my friend's gonna do. <laughs> Pays 50 for one because we bought the four. Now we're gonna press up four and ten. Six. So six pays 105. But what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna take our six down back to. 60 and I think I'm going to take the 8 down to 60 so I took back an extra $70 by dropping us back to 60 because we took already we're gonna do the same thing we get paid eighty four dollars um, and eighty five for one so anyway we're gonna press it up to 150 by giving six dollars so even though we cut down we're gonna be pressing and depressing pressing and depressing four Okay, so four page a hundred for two dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, hundred for five dollars. Gets more expensive as you start to go up. Five. So a hundred and fifty dollar five pays two hundred and ten. Nine pays another two hundred and ten. But we're gonna press it up to three hundred because that's my friend and that's what he's gonna do. Becky would have had it pressed further up when he sees this video gonna ask me how come you didn't press it all up already. Oh bad roll, short roll. Well, that's how it goes. So anyway, we escaped on our options of playing the field on the, and working on the come out. So we're gonna have 400, five, 650 is what we left down here. And if we had pressed it up more, you know, we still would have to collect to uh, make what we took back. So, like, sometimes, you know, you're, you're looking at this, let's say, all hundreds, of course, this would be 120 each. But you're thinking, well, if I pressed it up, and then I take, because I got money down here now, so I take one time, two times, three times, the seven come, while well, I took 300, right? Or at least, if it was 120, it'd be 140, so 380. But how's about if we just say, you know, take me down. So if I, if I took it down, what we would take back? We we'll take back 600 instead of 300, right? Because to make 600, you gotta take back six hits, right? Six hits you're gonna have to take. And so sometimes 
I'd rather take it and then repress it up because if I just take and then press 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 and then take I'm gonna have to take a lot more hits hoping that the shooter's gonna throw a lot more rolls so I can do that and nothing's guaranteed right nothing's guaranteed so we gotta take what we can when we when it's out there so in that case we would have made 600 700 right here six nine seventy five So I made six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand sixty dollars. I made a thousand and sixty dollars. It's pretty good money, right? We don't know when the seven coming, so that's why we need to depress it and then build it back up. And because you're playing with big money, you're not depressing it too far down. You're still in quarters, right? So anyway, that's one of our options that we used to uh, start off our 240 inside. So okay, let's look at uh, other options. So 240 in at sixty dollars on every number. sixty dollars on every number okay so now like I said I'd like to always work on a come out unless I have pressed up my bets high in you know like maybe pressed it up two three times then I may not work on a come out probably I won't work on a come out because if you're looking for a long roll that six, that seven has to come out sooner or later. You're not going to. I re you rarely going to see one thirty minute roll, even maybe a twenty minute roll without the seven coming. So if you're looking to get an hour roll or somebody that's going to roll fifty, sixty numbers, you know that that seven gonna come. Now when is that seven gonna come? If he's gonna roll that long, it's gonna come when he makes his point, and on the come out he gonna throw the seven. So that's why in the very beginning, I'll, I'll work my um, my bets, and maybe if I press it up one time in the minutes point, I may work it again. But if I press it up two, three times, I'm not gonna work it again on a come out because I'm sure this seven is gonna come. I just hoping it's gonna come on his come out. Okay, so that's the reason. So okay, we're back here in the 240 inside. So the last things we did the last time we took this to the field, we played without the five and we got by twice by the 10 coming out and we collected the field and then we went back in the field and collected it again after the point was made. So we made $120 without even getting a, a press that we could get because the number came back right away. So for now, I, you know, I always like doing this because if you do it this way, you don't, you're not covering if the two should come, the three should come, the four should come, the 10, the 11, the 12, you're not gonna get paid up here. The only difference is you don't have to work. Okay, you, you don't have to work. You can wait for a point, but there were times that the point comes and then you work and he rolls one or two numbers and sevens out. So, I, I'd like to work my bets on a come out. Of course, I don't bet as big as my friend does, but you'll never know on this trip because that's how I started betting big with my friend, following my friend. Okay, so just in this instance, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stay with the Iron Cross. I'm gonna put $30 three-way hopping seven and see what happens. Eight. Okay, so we lose the seven hopping. We lose the field, sixty dollars. But 
we get paid seventy dollars for the eight. Okay, so we make our sixty dollars back from the field plus ten dollars more. And then we just put our sixty dollars on the nine and we got ten dollars that we take him back. So all we lost from this thirty dollars was twenty dollars because we got ten dollars back. Okay. Six. So six the point. We get paid seventy dollars for sixty dollars six. So this is other options now that we can do. We can go down to one ten. Start start to go down to one ten. Go down to thirty. Take thirty dollars back. Take seventy dollars back. So by doing this, we took a hundred dollars back. Took a hundred dollars back. So instead of playing two forty, we're only in the game for hundred forty, right? Because we're taking a hundred dollars back right now. So that's another option, and I and I'm just gonna show it so that maybe just maybe my friend might think about doing this although I don't think so because he's a presser <laughs> it's deuce six okay so we hit the six no big deal we make thirty five dollars So now we got a hundred and thirty-five dollar profit plus the other ten from the field. So one thirty-five, one almost one seventy-five. We took back already. Four. Ten. We don't have those numbers because we're not on the outside, not yet. Nine. Okay, so nine pays 85 for one. Because it's 84. 60 on that. Five on nine pays 84. We're taking back 85. And so the other options now we can is we can take the nine down to. $35. Okay. Now if we do that, we take him back 110. So by just doing these two moves, let's see how much we got from the 240. That's 200 right there. $255. Okay. So two points we hit. We took the six down to 30. We took the nine down to 35. And we got $255. So we're playing all this money for free right now. If we took it all down, this would be all the profit plus the difference of the 55, another $15. So that's another option. And at this point, you know, like I would tell my friend, at that point, I don't care if you want to press. You like press, go ahead and press because you cannot lose already. You cannot lose. You took all the profit already. So whatever you laid out, you got it all back. Okay, so like I said, I just wanted to so show options that can be done. So nine, nine pays fifty, right? Because we got we still got thirty five, so we get fifty for one. So now what we can do if we wanted to, we could press the five and the nine back up to sixty, and we're almost to where we started, and all the profit is here already, right? But instead, we're gonna take the four and ten, so that we got every number out here now, got every number out here now. Six, so six pays thirty-five. So we can take this profit, 
or we can press the 6 up to 60 again take the nickel Eight. Okay, eight. $60 pay 70 Okay, so can we make a money? We'll press the nine back to 60. We'll take some profit. Seven out. Okay, so that's things that you don't know. You don't know when that's having coming, but we don't care because we took back profit, right? We took back profit. Okay, so anyway, that was one option, and on the come out, so we left 250 on the table. And we made some money because we started with two, two uh, 40 across. And that's 240 right there. So we made 55 bucks. And yet, you know, like I said, we got our money back, right? So this is our start again for the new hand. I made fifty-five dollars, but we left two hundred something on the table, right? And that's why, just by pressing, 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 you gotta watch out. You know, if I just did press, 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 we wouldn't have won this because we would have pressed it about, but four times. Luckily, just with our only two times we hit, we took back our start money already. So that's the difference. So let's just do one more hand. Okay, so I like to go back in the field. I'm gonna leave the iron cross. No protection against the seven and take our chances. nine okay so in this case because we had the iron cross protection we're working we're in the field point is nine we win sixty dollars right off the bat sixty dollar profit this comes up here because that's how my friend wants to lay it out so now we're just looking for some numbers eleven you know you could also you know, just for the hell of it, play ten dollars in a field if you want. That way, every number that you roll, you're gonna collect, right? And I wouldn't play like quarters in a field because you got to collect at least eighty-four to seventy dollars. So if you lose ten dollars in a field, no biggie, right? So we lost a ten, but we won seventy. And we got our $70 right here. So the other thing that we could do is we took 50 profit and I lost 10, right? Because we took 50 from the field and I put $10 back. So now we want 70. So what I want to do is right away, I want to take my five down and maybe I can go down to like $15 and I can still take $65 profit right I could still take $65 profit but I want to take more profit so I'm gonna take another $50 plus 10 more okay so from one $5 win I mean five win of $85 I take him back another $110 okay so 110 so it's a hundred two hundred and ten dollars from the two hits that we got and the field that we won okay so we're, we're in this game we took on 210 we're in this game only for 30 bucks right so at this point yeah I know my friend will say man I'm not used to betting like this but you know what 
to me, it's the smarter way because you can press them up all you like now. Of course, you, you want to press and take, press and take so you can get some profit, not just break even. Okay, so anyway, that's how I feel. And I'm just saying this is just options. So you can do it this way. You could do it the other way that I did. Take it down to 110, you know, instead of 15 on a 5 and 9. But we still got quarters on a 6 and 8. We still got quarters on the six and eight, so that's seventy dollars more. And I think I'm just going to take this seventy dollars because we don't have profit yet. Yeah, we we just was down playing thirty bucks, but now we're making money. Four. Six. Okay, so six pays seventy again. So with the seventy dollars now, we can press ourselves up to fifty. Okay, so one win. Uh, we took our profits, and now we can press both sides to fifty. Okay, press ourselves up to 50. Seven out. See, and that's why luckily I took back, right? Took back so now we had our chance, we're pressing ourselves back up, but at least we're not gonna take one loss. We started with 240 inside, we had 250, so let's say, 235 240 we made 40 bucks right we made 40 dollars so you would think that we made a lot of money but if we press that we wouldn't have we wouldn't make nothing okay because we hit like what three points four points at the most okay so if we didn't pull back we would have lost money so anyway these are options just options that you know hopefully we think about um me and my friend, uh, when we go up to the Indian Reservation in San Diego. So then I just wanted to shoot a fast, quick video. I don't know how long that was. Maybe it was a long time. I'm not sure. But just options for um, for my friend to look at and, and see um, if he'd like to try it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's free. And like I said, um, you can see the shirts that I have here. If you still want shirts, put it in my email. If you need to uh, reach out to me, put it in the Make of Dreams um, email, and I'll get back to you. So anyway, have a good day. Take it easy. We'll see each other again. Thanks very much.